Oh, I should find him on TikTok now. I'm going to tag him and shit. Hang on. I'm going to go find him on TikTok. and, and Because act. they do seem like the people that have they a laugh. They 100% have a TikTok. Surely don't. They'll have a laugh and shit. That guy's fucking out. I forgot I had my headphones on and my TikTok automatically played when I load up the TikTok on my fucking computer. <laughs> it was so fucking loud. Oh my god. <laughs> Pow! Pow! Says Lane. We are back. Hi guys, welcome back to the Heal Project. We are back with Hello. episode three of this recording. Uh, we have had we have had Phil. We have had me. My one was good last week, wasn't it, guys? It was so believable. Go watch it. It'll give you a laugh. There's some good shit. Good conspiracy theory. Hi everyone. Can I just please ask you to like the video for me whilst we're here, and then maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't like it. You can always reverse those decisions later, can't you? Back to the content. Bye. It's Pete's turn. Pete. Yep. What have you got for us? Mine involves someone I've always been quite interested in. Me? Banksy. Nearly. <laughs> pretty much me, to be fair. Yeah. So maybe you. Yeah. So maybe you. Yeah. <laughs> Could be you. Banksy, one of the most, if not the most mysterious artists we've ever known. Um, started doing graffiti work in the 90s in Bristol. Um, he got so big um, just doing random bits of artwork, controversial artwork. I didn't actually know, so I've written up. In 2011, uh, a documentary filmed was nominated for an Oscar. It was actually up for an actual Oscar, which was mental. Um, in 2015, like he'd done all his artwork and bits and pieces, and everyone had talked, spoke about him, and he was always mysterious. But then these were some of the bigger things that he's done. The Oscar was like mental for a, for a graffiti artist. Um, even in 2015, I didn't know this one. He opened up a bemusement land. Used it was <laughs> it was called Dismal Land, um, a big pop up art exp exhibition in Western. Uh, it was open for a month, and it was a sinister twist on Disneyland. In his own words, described as a family theme park unsuitable for children. It was right. Um, yeah, and it it had work. He worked with 58 other artists on there. 40,000 tickets were made available a day on the website. Um, and Dan, you'll know this one. I've seen the, I've come across price. Apparently, it was like £2.50 an entry yeah, or something yeah, like that. It was, it was it, mental I can't cheap. I exactly what it was, but it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a lot. They said names to visit this, this pop up exhibition included Brad Pitt, Jack Black, Mark Robinson, Russell Brand. Um, uh, people queued for hours to get one of the 500 walking tickets a day. Uh, they were saying it was visited over a, by over 150,000 people in the month. They said it raised um, Western's uh, uh, economy by about 20 million in the end. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Even, even though that was like the biggest thing you know at the time until 2019, October 2019, uh, Sunbees, um auction house. He had, do you remember the... One of the biggest pieces of artwork he'd done, the little girl releasing the red balloon. Mm -hmm. A print of that was up for auction. Mm -hmm. And the second it sold, the print then went through the frame into a, a shredder and just went into bits. A shredder, and it it shredded was, yeah. the whole thing. It was a shredder built yeah. into the frame, wasn't it? Yeah, he actually built it in saying that it was there for the simple reason that it could destroy it with a remote control if it ever went up for auction. And obviously it was publicised, it was going up. And he, they were saying that he must have been there or had views of something. So the second it sold, the hammer went down, he pressed the button and shredded it. Um, they said it must have been good, though, because every single bit of his work tripled in price after that. Um, over the years, many people have tried to unmask Banksy. One, uh, some of the names going forward, one of them was... Uh, there was a teenager in... Where was it? Ox... Uh, Oxen Dome in the Lake District. I think that's how you say it. He was given. Sorry. He was on the train. He was given. He was on the train, and a guy dropped a bag, dropped on the floor, and loads of spray cans come out, and he helped the guy pick them up. And the guy introduced himself as Robin Banks, gave the kid a print that was signed by Banksy, 
and told him it was worth over 24 grand. Uh, that was one of the people they're saying that was could have been him. Uh, other names have been Robert Del Naya, one of Massive Attack, who's really, really good friends. Apparently, he says he's good friends with Banksy. Um, he does a lot of artwork for Massive Attack's albums. He's been said, it's been rumoured to be him. Another one that I found out about was artist extraordinaire James Hewlett, one of the guys that made uh, found Gorillaz, the, the pop group. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be a massive rumour, and he's never quite denied it, but he's just laughed every time. Uh, my favourite, though, um, and what I really based this whole thing about, there was a massive rumour that it was Art Attack legend Neil Buchanan. It Way was, it was, <laughs> it was, and it got to the point in 2010, he actually had to release a statement on his website that says, we've been working, uh, oh, sorry, it says, uh, we've been inundated over the last inquiries over the last, this weekend regarding the current social media story. Unfortunately, this website does not have the infrastructure to answer all these inquiries individually. However, we can confirm that Neil spent lockdown with his vulnerable members of his family and is now preparing to launch his own art collection. And it is categorically not Neil. Yeah, it is. But it is. That's not. something definitely Banksy would say, wouldn't it? He he, he would go, yeah, it's, it's me. Um, yeah, that was that was my main thing. It was Neil Buchanan being Banksy. And I, I just, I love the thought of that because I used to love Heart Attack as a kid. So, it was, yeah, it was kind of like, who's Banksy, but is, is it Neil Buchanan? Yeah, I'm having this one. Definitely is. It's him. <laughs> the thing is, I don't, I, after doing all this, I don't even, if I'm completely honest, I don't want to know who Banksy is because that would spoil it all. No, I but need I to would, know if it is him. I would I, love I, it I to be to Neil Buchanan. Neil Buchanan's a legend. He is. So that's it for me. <laughs> so your conspiracy theory is Banksy Robert Buchanan, uh, Neil Buchanan. Yeah, is Banksy Neil Buchanan? Yes. I so want it to be. Hi Neil everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would it be that guy from Art Attack? Because that was a, it was it was his big thing, getting bits of art and just getting random bits and just doing street something art. crazy with it. Yeah, street art. Yeah, and that was in the nineties, like yeah. early nineties, and then. And bags come out, and he would do bits of street modern art and just going that little bit further and stencils and bits of things. And that's what Art Attack was all about stamps like, with the Queen's face on and kids' playgrounds, all that exactly. kind of stuff. I exactly. it. Yeah, I don't know how I can, so I don't know how I can even question this because you don't know, like, there is no evidence one way or no, another no, about anybody does, so. i think the only but the only thing with him is there's there's been rumors have been crazy there's people doing dodgy footage like there was i've seen clips because i've liked i've liked banksy for quite a while and i've always been quite interested there's people that have come out and done interviews in balaclavas and claim to be banksy there's a woman that was recording in a street in australia like an alleyway and apparently banksy was stenciling his name uh, just done a step, uh, bit of artwork and she was like, oh my God, oh my God, run up to it. And it said Banksy down on the bottom. So she's run after him, shouting like Banksy. And some guy hooded, turned around, told her to F off and done a runner. Fuck off! Uh, with his stencil with a spray can in his hand and looked quite panicked. And she was like, oh, there was like, it's blatantly, no, it looks like it's all set up. Zero chance, zero chance yeah. that's true because uh, Banksy, not since is like first... I think 10 pieces. He has never put Banksy on anything. It is a Banksy. No. He's never signatured yeah. anything. Yeah, he's no. a But there's also like big rumours going around that it's not just one person. It's like a group of seven people. Um, I know the Massive Attack one was quite interesting because they put the... Another reason they put the guy forward from Massive Attack, a lot of the stuff that was done into America all tied in exactly the same time as Massive Attack were touring and every state that they were in a bit of Banksy artwork turned up. Maybe he's a fan. Why they were there. But, but he's come out and said that he's really good friends with Banksy. He knows Banksy and he's really good friends with Banksy. There you go, then. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, no, but it just seemed like... And they were like, well, is it more than that? Is he Banksy? Every time he went to this town, uh, uh, somewhere a bit of artwork turned up. 
Oh, All of them. I mean, yeah, but like by that logic, are, are any of his bandmates Banksy? Yeah, yeah. This like, guy, does, but this guy does all the artwork for all their album covers, and he's a he's a well known artist anyway. But yeah, it's just Banksy's always interested me, and I just had to bring up that Neil Buchanan is Banksy. I, I, it's a no for me. I'm sorry. I, I just I, I can't. I, I, I do you know what? Yeah. A guy that was used to make used to make um, buildings with egg cups. He, oh, no, I, I, I see the logic. I it. see the logic, and I it's don't. Me as well. Like, <laughs> I did that. What the fact see, that now, Link, you, uh, the fact that he's just... semi-famous with it as well, and he's already got like the money or some sort of notori- notoriety and money, like it means that he wouldn't need it for his actual artwork. That to me is the only credibility that I can give to it, because obviously he doesn't get paid for the the artwork he does no. on the most part. You know, it, it doesn't. He just leaves it, and that's it. There was I know there was one point. Um, a so they they reckon it was Banks. He was selling pieces of artwork, really cheap, just to random people and un, unseen artwork, and he would sell it to them. And when they took it back, they found out it was Banks. And they paid. Sh- they paid tiny money for it. Uh, and there's, there's, there's been a couple in the last couple of years around here. Um, there was the the reindeer that someone kept drawing a red nose on. Yeah. But then they put a piece of perspex over it. And in the end, I think they just had to whitewash the wall and get rid of it. Yeah. So much as so that work has gone. There was another one which was a bike chained to a post. Uh, and it, it, obviously the artwork was of the bike and the, the little yeah. girl stood with the bike and the post was there. Um, <laughs> the building owner actually sold the wall. You can? Like he ripped the wall out of the building, sold the wall and redid the wall. Like, yeah. But some uh, of his artwork, like that piece of artwork in the, that got shredded, I don't reckon. That, obviously, he most really knew what was going on with that, and he had put a bid in for it. It was a big stunt. I don't reckon the um, the auction house know about it. You could tell by the surprise in their faces. But that apparently sold from an unknown bidder, uh, who got brought for one point four million, and that was a print. That was a print of his work. So it's, it's bought by an unknown bidder. Yeah. Who wouldn't have paid for it because it got damaged by the auction house? Yeah. Yeah. It, so, just as they brought it, and it was, I reckon it was a big PR stuff. Well. Yeah, well, but I since, think. yeah, but since then, his work has then tripled in value. Yeah, you can't get, you can't get a piece now. Yeah, because his name's out there a bit more. Twenty, thirty grand. Easy. Like it's, 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 it's all, it's all PR. Uh, it yeah. wouldn't surprise me if there is more than one. Yeah, they, the room, there's a room. Yes, it's all, people. it's all stencil work. At the end of the day, yeah. it's not, it's not freehand. So, I mean, as long as you've got the stencils, like, it, 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 you know what I mean? If Banksy sent me a stencil, I could put a Banksy up on a wall. Yeah. It's literally, anybody could do it. If you've I got just, the stencil work, it's literally just spraying a fucking stencil. It's not. The inner kid in me just, I would love to unveil one day and Neil Buchanan be like, and for next time. <laughs> Welcome to Art Attack and he's doing a Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> it would be amazing. It would be amazing. Or, or just, just, just a random video pops up. This is an arse tack. This is an arse tack. This is an arse tack, and all of them be banks. Like, yeah, he's got to do it. But yeah, that, that was my. That was a bit of fun one for this one. Yeah, I, it's, 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 do you know what? It's I'm not even going to. Do you know? What? I said this. No, I, I'm going to. I'm going to change. I'm going to say it's a maybe. It's going to be a maybe for me. Okay, because I'm not. I know I'm just going to flat out no. But it's, I'm going to give it a maybe. I am. It's a no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a definite yes. It feels to me on this one. Like the, the thing is, I don't even want to know ever. I'd, I'd love to know Banksy's, but I don't want to know it because I just love seeing Banksy's. But no, I think just to get out. But I, I, I like the intriguement of not knowing who he is and seeing the artwork just pop up. And I think if we ever found out it was, it would spoil it so much. Probably next time on yeah. conspiracy theories, does Pete want to know who Banksy is or not? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I still can't decide. I'm just putting into yeah, Pete. The last two you've done are Stevie Wonder and now Neil Buchanan. <laughs> yeah, I thought my one last week was fucking ridiculous. Link, you better save us with next week's one because otherwise, this theory Thursday is already in the fucking hole. <laughs> 
<laughs> Link's already said I'm really nervous about mine. Yeah, he has. <laughs> mm. Um. So on that note, just listen, Paul. Yes and no in the comments of the main video is Neil Buchanan. You know what? Not Banksy. even a yes or no. Tell us who you think Banksy yeah. is. Who is Banksy? Could be me. It's not. It's not well, Dan. And on that note, we will catch you in the next one. See ya. Peace. See ya. This is an arse tack. 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 <laughs>